Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Wasteland 2. A stiff, bearded older man wearing a hard-worn ranger uniform and a battered old cowboy hat. General Vargas walks with a cane, but he's not helpless. He wears a pearl-handled revolver on his hip, and there are a lot of notches on the barrel. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party when you hardly knew the man. Appropriate, too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. How did Ace die, sir? Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been given us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower, and his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. The signal is a threat, sir? The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers specifically. It said it was coming for us. Repeater units, sir? When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. Where are all the radio towers? I'll give you the locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. You think the logbook was stolen, sir? Don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person when he was found. Look for it. It might have some clues as to his death. Happy to be given the opportunity, sir, but are you sure we're ready? Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the Desert Rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a range war out there from becoming straight-up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is going to have to lead the charge on this one. What's the mission, sir? The mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found, and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, you'll find the other. Where is this area, sir? It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. Cool! There you go. Thank you. Call in, sir? Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions, and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. When can we enter the Citadel, sir? Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a Desert Ranger, and we won't let you in. Surely, sir, the success of this mission is more important than testing us. If you want to find these signals, shouldn't you let us in so we can stock up? Mm, using logic on me, eh? Smartass. Logic and observation will change some folks' minds, and you can catch people in lies that way. But sometimes, it only makes them mad, so be careful. In this case, you're right. I should let you in. But I got a feeling about you four. You got depths you don't even know you have, and it's gonna take adversity to tap them. So I'm sending you out undergunned and unprepared just to see what it brings out of you. You'll thank me later. Maybe I need to make my Ronstock character the leader. We'll see how uh, that pans maybe. out. Good luck out there, recruits.
right, zooming way out. PFC Bernard Asaf. Lance Colonel's Colonel Ken Stone. Dr. Mike Scott. And Captain Christopher Brock. Note boom. Lived his life to the Ranger Code. Cadet Fufuatsun. Cadet Paul Takeda. Imperial Scar Scallop Ralph the Hobo. Cadet Suicide. They're obviously backers. Technical Major Ron Nakata fought like a ranger until the end. Xerxes. Or Xerx. Cadet Wolf. General Sugru. Sugru. Conversation skills. You can switch the active ranger in the conversation by selecting the appropriate portrait. Each of your rangers has their own strengths and weaknesses. Make sure to use the right one for the job. Uh, leadership is separate from the smart ass, hard ass, all that good stuff, so. We can always pump that into. Uh, pump that into Ron Stocks as we go. We ain't gonna kiss no ass, that's for sure. Maybe we can make Lug Lug the smart ass. Even though he's a dumbass. Have our inventory here. Our character screen. Whoa, somebody give Ron Stock a happy meal. Looking hungry. Pain relievers, ammo. Looks like they start you with weapons that you're good with. Knife and a pump shotgun. I'm going to change drawn stock to heavy weapons. You can divvy out the inventory specifically there. And change all the different attributes, skills general information there's your dossier everyone's 10 years apart Good to see you, recruits. Afraid I can't open this door for you yet. Grenadier Major Nergibitz. A desert ranger in scarred but spotless combat armor stands at attention before the doors of the ranger's citadel. He gives you a friendly salute. Welcome to the ranger's citadel, recruits. But the general ordered me not to let you in before you finish your first investigation. And you can kiss ass and do hard ass there, which I don't have either. So I guess we'll go on our merry way. Corporal.
purple Solvig Sifos. A kindly older woman in standard issue range of garb. She seems occupied counting goods and organizing crates. Aside from the clothes, she's the picture of a loving grandmother. You could swear she smells faintly of fresh baked cookies. Well, hello, recruits. Welcome to Slow Vic Sundries. Happy to trade whenever you like. An honor to make your acquaintance. Always nice to see new faces around here and a pleasure to make sure they have everything they need before they head out into the big bad world. And you can, of course, trade with her, which we don't have a whole lot. Keywords, pretty obvious about keywords, using items. Assign commonly used items or skills to your hotbar by right-clicking and selecting the item from the pop-up menu. Some skills or items act passively and can't be placed on the hotbar key. Camera rotation, yeah. Know how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. The logbook contains information on various missions and tasks the rangers have acquired. The buttons at the top allow you to view missions with that you have flagged as important, are ongoing or are resolved. Additionally, you can sort the list by selecting a sort by property from the drop down box. Alright, and we have zero dollars, it looks like. Well, that's cool. You can check out everybody's inventory at once. Kind of nice. Yeah, I don't have anything yet. Lovely to meet you, Team Echo. Come back again real soon. Hey, Echo One, mind picking up that can over there for me? I think there's some water in there. Okay. <laughs> he headbutted you. Right in the ass. Did you actually think I was serious about wanting that can? I just wanted that goat to hit you in the ass. The general said he'd be out here to train us after the funeral. The general said he'd be out here to train us after the funeral. La loca! That means the crazy bitch. God damn it, Ace. You never should have put down the wrench and picked up the gun. Sorry about the waterworks. I'm still pretty broke up over Ace. I'm Angie. You kids must be the new recruits old Vargas trained up. Lord, y'all just babies. We saw you at Ace's funeral. You knew him well? They all hurt, but this one, man. Ace wasn't even a ranger, not at first. He worked as a driver, a mechanic, for Farron Brigo. Which is uh, Brian Fargo, reversed. Up in Vegas. And when base Koshai started sending its death machines into the desert, Brigo sent Ace south to the recruit robot fighters. We met him in courts. He pissed off somebody out there and they locked him up. We sorted that out. He started running with us, helping us fight Koshais. They never stopped. Vargas eventually gave him the uniform and the hat, but I don't think he ever formally signed on. He was just always there. And now he's... He's... God damn it, Ace. I knew this one was trouble. I knew it. How well do you know General, General Vargas? Ha! <laughs> Better than he'd like. Back in the day, the general was the craziest of us all, but somehow, after we brought down the base at Coach Heiss, he became the sanest. Now he's running the whole show and doing a damn fine job while I'm still walking patrols and answering radio calls. Shows you how much ambition I got, huh? Babies? Us? Sorry, but you are as cute as little kittens. Y'all remind me of Snake, Razor, Thrasher, and me back when we were just starting out, thinking we are going to save the world for the future. Thinking none of us will ever die. Christ, sorry. Don't listen to me. Youth is good. Optimism is good. If we all started out worn out and jaded like me, no one would ever try to change the world. So you kids go ahead and give it a go. Maybe it'll work this time. Where's Quartz? 
Man, not sure I recall. Haven't been out that way in ages. Don't even know if it's still on the map. Ask Thrasher, he'd know. He thought Ace's mission was trouble. He was working on the same thing Vargas has you working on. Trying to track down radio signals from beyond the edges of the map. All seemed a bit boring and scientific to me, but then Ace started saying he thought someone was following him. I asked him to let me come with him when I met him at the Rail Nomads to give him the repeater units, but he told me to go back to base. He said he was just jumping at the shadows because those radio broadcasts spooked him. I should have gone with him. Why didn't I go with him? What, what was base coach ice? An old military facility from before the war. The biggest fight the Rangers ever had. Some crazy computer in there that kept spitting out robots and sending them off to kill people. We had one hell of a fight putting it down. Earned our stripes that day. Literally. That's when I became Captain Death. So General Vargas used to be called Snake? Well, like I said, he was the wild-ass son of a bitch back in the day. But I think the weight of the responsibilities kind of squashed that out of him now. He hasn't been in a decent bar fight in, shit, a decade maybe? What happened to Hellraiser? He's another one gone. Went out for patrol a few weeks back and never came home. Don't know if he's dead or AWOL. Or gone off to join the Scorpions. All anyone knows is he hasn't called in and we haven't heard from anyone else who's seen him. I miss old Hellraiser like blazes. Didn't talk much. Didn't make friends easy. Wasn't big on social graces. But he was as loyal as they come. And when the shit started flying, he was the guy you wanted at your back. He didn't win that name by accident. Sharp as a razor. Scary as hell. Where's Thrasher now? Better call him Gilbert now. Funny, back in the day, he just seemed like this big old growly bear, strong as an ox and just about as articulate. But then he got all torn up during our fight with the robots from base coach heist, and he couldn't go out on patrol no more. Any other commander would have handed him his walking papers, but Vargas doesn't dump old friends, so he started him working in the museum. And when you know it, turns out the old bear has a knack for cartography. He's been gradually mapping our little corner of the wasteland ever since. Who'd have thunk it? Tell me about the rail nomads. It'd be a nice little place. The Atchisons and Topicons would kiss up and make up. I can't even remember what that's all about. Between them, they got enough old railroad tech that if they worked together, they could give this area a real transportation system. Instead, seems like all they want to do is blow each other's heads off. Fucking idiots. Know any more about these repeater units? I really don't know the details. It's all a bunch of mumbo jumbo about transmitters in the north-south axis and signals bouncing off clouds. Ask Woodson about it. He's our radio genius. Have you heard any of these strange broadcasts yourself? Ace played me some before he died. Hard to make out a lot of it, but what I heard made the hair stand on end. Some guy talking about turning men into machines, or machines into men, or some shit. But that cra that's the crazy thing was when he starts talking about us, the Rangers, saying we're all the cause of the trouble in the world, and we need to be wiped out so his glorious future can be born. I mean, who is this guy? Where is he, and what the fuck does he have against us? A computer was making robots? Yeah, the base coach ice AI. Don't know what was wrong with it. Broken, I guess. I thought everyone was its enemy. Wanted to kill the whole planet. Tell me about the Red Scorpions. You weren't briefed on those fucks during your training? Well, let me fill you in. You know when we left the prison and moved here to the Citadel? Well, the Scorpions were the jerks who moved into the prison when we moved out. Just a bunch of raiders back then. Now they're getting more organized. Call themselves a militia now. They're trying to act like they're the desert rangers of the eastern Arizona. Well, that's a load of horse shit. A protection racket ain't the same as protecting people. They shake down all the towns for money. And if the locals don't kick in, they smash them up. The rangers aren't like that. We get by on donations and good old-fashioned scavenging. You know Woodson? Radio technician Wade Woodson. Sure do. He's the guy who makes sure you can hear Vargas when you're out on patrol. Keeps all the machines running and the signal clear. He'll also talk your ear off about circuits and frequencies, and I don't know what else if you let him, but be nice to him. He's your lifeline to the base. What can you tell me about eastern Arizona? Basically everything between the prison and radiation clouds to the east. There's a few small towns and farms out there which the Scorpions claim is their territory. Rangers used to patrol that area before we moved here. And we knew it pretty well, but a lot can change in 15 years. Who knows? Maybe it's all as clean and nice and crime-free as the scorpions say it is, but I got my doubts. Radiation clouds. The edges of the map, kiddies. Big hot areas we can't go in without getting cooked to a crisp. 
The clouds move around, some with the wind and the weather, but there are permanent hot spots on every side of us. North, south, east, west. Until we started hearing those weird broadcasts, I kind of thought those clouds went on forever, and that Arizona was the last place on Earth. But maybe there are more people out there. <laughs> maybe the whole rest of the world's just fine, and we're the only ones in hell. Wouldn't that be a joke? Say, listen. Vargas asked you to look into Ace's death because he thought I was too upset to be professional about it. He didn't want me going off half-cocked and shooting up all of Arizona looking for his killer. But I gotta find this guy. Ace and me, well, we'd been fighting side by side for nigh on 20 years. I'm not letting him die unavenged. So, well, I know it's going against orders, but if you let me tag along and be in at the kill, well, I'll help you find your feet out there. Maybe give you a few pointers along the way. I may be old and slow, but I know the waist's like the back of my hand. What do you say? Sure, come along. Can never have too many tits in a party. Cool. No need to tell Vargas why I joined you. If anybody asks, I'm just helping you get oriented, all right? Sounds good to me, sexy mama. What the f What is that? Something seems buried here. Oh, I can start digging with my shovel? Alright, I'm gonna blow up just like I did in the Divinity. I might as well hotkey my shovel. What the hell is that? Digging, digging in the dirt. I just found some scrap in the skirt. All kinds of places to dig. Deck of cards. Ranger Brass Nooks. Compact. So I can put on my makeup. Sorry, can't talk right now. Gotta clean up this graffiti. It says Law Opay. You down with Opay Pay? Some 38 ammo, and this all counts as junk, I guess, that we can trade. A wanted poster. It reads, 1,000 scrap reward for an apprehension of the angry red clown that are alive. This thing is way too big to put on a finger. There are five aces in this deck. Good for checking your makeup or around corners. Yet you call it junk? Yes, all parties will go to the new location. That's the of traveling with my party. Ranger Citadel. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. 
This is Ranger Team Echo. Roger, Echo One. Just making sure your radio is working. I'll be your dispatcher from here on out. I also wanted to give you a little heads up on your water situation. If you've all got full canteens, you should have enough water to reach the place where Ace died with plenty to spare. But if you're going to go exploring, you'll want to fill up again at any oasis you can find. Remember, your main priority is to recover the repeater units Ace was carrying. Once you've got the devices, you'll be headed to Ag Center and High Pool to install them. But we'll talk about that after you acquire the repeaters. We must, of course, bring Ace's killers to justice. But right now, that's secondary to discovering the location of that signal. So it's important to stay in radio contact with you? It is vital that all teams stay in radio contact with me here at the base. We get distress calls from all over our jurisdiction and sometimes beyond. Towns or farms or mines being attacked by raiders, mutant beasts, what have you. We field those calls here and then dispatch whichever team is closest to the problem. Does that mean you weren't always the dispatcher? Until now, Woodson's been our dispatcher. But Ace's death made me realize that I've spent too many years in my office, walled off from the world and how it's changing. I need to know what's going on out there. And I figure the best way to do that is to start listening to the people's problems. So, I've decided that from now on, I'll be the one fielding calls and talking in your ear when you head out into the wastes. Don't let that make you self-conscious or nothing. 10-4, Echo-1, carry on. Ranger Command out. Roger, out. How's my water doing? 60 units? I guess we'll head straight there. See what happens. There's plenty of time for exploration. You see dangerous raiders approaching your position. Well, I'm not gonna run. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess the raiders weren't uh, necessarily bad. Should have ran the whole party over there in that case. Smoke, son. Look, look, chopping up people. Pump shotgun. Probably don't want to shoot that from back here. Right, Doc? Oops! Alright, well that proves that there's friendly fire.
Don't be shooting Pimp Daddy now. The action cue shows turn order for combat. Turn order and frequency is determined by initiative attribute. The higher the attribute, the earlier and more often the character can act. Enemies have their own initiative as well. Action points. We all know about action points. Moving. The action point counter. Friendly fire. We learned about that. Be careful in combat. Careless or poorly aimed shots can strike friendly targets. Whoops. And loot! When looting, you'll automatically loot all enemies within a close distance to your active ranger. Loot can be taken by dragging each individual piece onto the desired character's portrait or by selecting the Take All button. AKA the, G, the Greedy Jew button. You can also select the loot from nearby containers and corpses by selecting one of the portraits from the right side of the loot UI. A library card. Oh man. Looks like that surged him as well. Some bullets and a can of tuna. Alright. Alright, folks, well, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Wasteland 2. I'll try to do a video or two every every day or so. Uh, but until, like I said, until I get uh, some of the other stuff I've already started, finished, uh, not going to be diving headfirst into this quite yet. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.